performance art is the new form of protest theater. I truly do feel that it is a tool that we can use in this country. It's a tool that does not need you to have gone to, like, I don't know, art school, although art education is always a good thing. You do not need to, to have materials or even a studio. Your body becomes the studio. So your mind becomes the sort of like hub that actually uses the body to communicate these things. My new character, the elder, really truly revolves around the character of um, the priest or the character of the Sangomo, the character that is used to be a spiritual signifier in, um, in, 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 in nation building. There's always one. It's either a saint or it's some kind of like, like a martyr character or whatever. So I wanted to try and allude to that and then leave it to the audience to come up with the other half of the, of the art. At the height of it all, it's all these balloon characters and, and an ensemble that makes a work happen. So, um, and then the audience becomes the third element. Um, they're highly inspiring because they come up with their sort of like interpretation of the work. And there's a democracy in performance art because of that. Because there isn't strict choreography, there isn't strict setting, there isn't strict anything. Yeah. It's my truth. It really does just boil down to observing and bearing witness to that truth. And then at the end of the day, I really want to give it to the audience so that they complete the artwork. So their emotions, all individual, it's a very democratic thing, performance art. I really do not want people to, 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 to be told by me how to respond to this because there's no conversation. But um, when you just put people in the situation, they really do start a conversation because something is compromised without a trailer or a spoiler alert or something. Yeah.